welcome to Wednesday's Talking Reds. My name is Mo Stewart. This is Lizzie Doyle. Uh, as you know by now, uh, Liverpool FC are in America, and as of a few hours ago, the Anfield Rap are also in America. You'll be hearing from the guys all about the tour, probably starting from tomorrow. So until then, Lizzie and I are holding the fort down. We are. And the biggest thing that's happened in the world of us in the last 24 hours, uh, for those of you who live in England, particularly those of you who live in Liverpool, will probably know a bit about this. It was the member sale oh. that came out this morning. Now, I didn't have the pleasure, but Lizzie, you did. I did, yeah. I had a lovely alarm. Um, so you've got to get in a queue for the queue. That's how the member sale works. So the, the actual queue starts at course past eight to, for, to get into the site to buy your ticket, but you have to get in the queue for the queue. But you don't know whereabouts in that queue you are for the queue. So what you have to do is log on to the site an hour earlier. Um, basically get this window up that looks a certain way and, and, and you know that you're sort of in the queue for mm. the queue then and then you have to leave it. So I woke up, um, got in the queue and then like washed my hair, had my shower and all that. Returned to my two laptops, um, two different browsers on both with three tabs open. So that's what, 12 tabs. Wow. Um, I had an iPad iPhone, every single one of them, over an hour. If you get over an hour, you, you're screwed, you're not getting a ticket. You, you need to be given like minutes, but this was like the category, oh God, is it category I, I think it is. Um, it was Everton, City, Arsenal, Spurs, at home. The ones that Your most people ends. are gonna wanna go um, for. Yeah, I mean, obviously you have to have a certain amount of credits and priority, whereas tomorrow, oh God, tomorrow's category C, and that's like, the likes of Sheffield United and stuff at home, and you don't need that much priority for right. that. So it was hard enough to get them. It's a free for all tomorrow. I mean, this... I'm gonna have to do it all over again. Probably hungover. <laughs> we joke about this, <laughs> but essentially, this is part of the reason we're all really keen on getting a bigger stadium because yeah. there are so many situations like this where we end up having fans pitting themselves against fans, and everyone has a different tiers of kind of loyalty and. You want to reward people who are loyal and who do go out there, but you also want to try and find ways to get new people into the stadium. And it's just, everyone wants to watch us because we're amazing and it's really difficult. But hopefully in the future, we'll have a bigger stadium. This will be a little bit easier. Let's hope, let's hope. I've <laughs> even considered, like, I think I made a comment on it the other day and someone wasn't happy, but I'm going to make the same one. Uh, it was, I think I said it with you, actually. I, I've... I even consider sometimes like driving to a place that's not Liverpool and just trying it out there, you know, like doing it on my 4G. So it's thinking, oh, this this isn't the girl from Heighton. Yeah. This is this is the girl from Aberdeen, and she's gonna come and she's she's. Do you know what I mean? Like I really <laughs> considered just is there any other way of trying to get through on this members sale? That's not the way that we're doing it. But unfortunately, it literally is luck of the draw. There's so many conspiracy mm. theories about you know, prioritise and certain sets of fans or people or believe me, it we, th there is no conspiracy theory I mean, around it. The only it really way to isn't. kind of prove that is to actually do it. Ne so next year, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to... Dot all the around. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have to do the, Anf <laughs> the Anfield map, we'll oh, call yeah. it. You see? I like it. Mad how the person in Liverpool is going to get through out of everyone though, isn't it? <laughs> we'll have all just had a nice jolly. Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, it's all about making it scientific so we can tell you exactly what's going on. Just get a bigger stand. Yeah. God damn you. That's, that's all we want. Anyway, let's talk about football. Yes. That's kind of why we're here. Uh, there has actually been a few uh, interviews come out in the last couple of days that have caused a little bit of interest. Uh, one, I don't know if you've seen it, yesterday there was a really big interview praising Simon Mignolet and his professionalism within the squad and how he's come out and said he'll do anything that he has to do. However, while that was going on, his agent was off in Belgium and he was a, a little bit more loose-tongued about things and he was basically saying that Simon still expects to leave this summer and he believes it's up to the club to help him out to a certain extent in that. I don't know what that means regarding accepting a bid that's lower than the valuation Liverpool currently have, but it's really interesting to hear this happen now because despite the fact that most people will consider Alisson the unquestionable number one goalkeeper and he will play the majority of the minutes for us this season, Mignolet's in a kind of a strong position because he's really the only guy they've got to hang their hat on for this whole tour. And he's important within the squad. I believe that's why they're talking so highly about him. And he's now almost kind of parlayed this into a little bit of a power play. Mm, I mean, obviously it is agent speak. 
But you said before, like when his agents going out and speaking to you know Mignolet's native paper. So I think it was the publications Les Sports Plus or something. Um, and I've done A level French. That's okay. that's the thing. <laughs> so Simon Mignolet, if, if you if you could please refer to him rather than Simon. Uh, no, so obviously he spoke to this paper, and I was I was quite shocked when I read it this morning. I was like. I thought he was staying. I thought the thing is, he's he's never going to go to a bigger club than Liverpool now. Mm. Like I understand, I really do understand that he needs to play. I think it's a really tough thing being a number two keeper, and you know he's been here six years now. Mm -hmm. That's a long time, and it depends what he wants. I mean, I don't actually know how old he is, um, but for me. Keepers get better as they get older anyway. Uh, they've got yeah. quite a good lifespan in terms of football, don't they? I don't know. I, I actually understand if he'd want to go. Oh, yeah, Because totally. I, I think you're not getting in against Alisson, who, again, I believe is is on form the best keeper in the world at the mm. moment. You know, he's, he's, he's looking at Alisson with three golden gloves this year and going, any chance, lads? <laughs> yeah, any most, chance? Most. But the thing is, you are right. I think he, he needs to... Well, he doesn't. He doesn't actually need to. But I would like him to look at our squad at the moment. And the fact we've had to bring someone in called Alex Lonergan, who's not even a signing, to go and do pre-season tour to, to have goalkeeper cover. Because um, Grabara's gone on loan. He has gone on loan to Huddersfield. And Kelleher is injured, isn't he? Is he is injured. And obviously, the other one is Dan Atherton, who we've seen in pre-season. But he's only a very... He's only young, isn't he's he? He's very still young. And more. if Liverpool want to be serious about competing in every competition, which they absolutely should be, because it's bloody hard to go and win the league. And I'd love to win the league next year, but you've got to... You, you know, it, it could be the same as this year. We could just miss out again. But mm. I think we'll challenge. But who knows if we'll win the league? And who knows if we'll win the Champions League again? We might not, so we need to get another trophy to continue the success, and that means League Cup and that means FA Cup. But he will not play Allison all those games. No, we need someone to step in. And what I will say is, I think Klopp's quite loyal, and I think if Mignolet did play the the League Cup or the FA Cup or both and got through to the final, he'd play him. Yeah, I as do. Much as I some agree. of us, as much as some of us would scream out and go, "Come on, yeah. we need the trophies, the bigger picture here." But what does that say to mm. to Mignolet? I think another thing about this whole story in general, and probably the bit that we've all kind of uh, forgotten about, no clubs have actually made a bid for him yet. I think that's really the thing that's kind of. There's not like there's someone. It's not like with Lovren where AC Milan are kind of hovering in the background. There's really been no concrete names linked with him. People mm -hmm. have known that he's wanted to leave for a while, and that hasn't happened. And then obviously the new situation. It seems like he's more settled. So anyone who may have been making a late bid would be like, okay, well maybe he wants to stay there. So maybe this is this is agent saying no, still bid for him, still bid for him. It, still sounds like, it sounds like his agents pushing forward it to me, and the way that he's speaking, it's like we want this move for Simon. It's like, well, what? What does Simon want? What does Simon say? Simon, Simon says no. <laughs> what does Simon say? Simon says no. I want to stay. Or it Simon say, says yes. I want to leave. That's for sure. um, and I'd just be interested to see because it, 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 the, the narrative over the whole summer has been about how good he's been and, and how they can't praise him enough and how he will stay. So this is come as a bit of a shock and I'm wondering if they're trying to force a bit of a hand because they know the keeper situation. Trying to shake some people loose. We'll have to wait and see on that one. Someone else who's uh, been very well received and got a lot of praise from Liverpool fans and within the squad is Joel Matip and he's done uh, an interview for LiverpoolFC.com recently in which he said that he's not taking for granted his great form at the end of last season will guarantee him a starting spot next to Virgil van Dijk. He's got some quotes here. I'm just going to have to go over here and go. <laughs> That's like you know what I do. I wind my mum up and like I pretend to walk down the stairs. <laughs> I was really, almost going to really do that, but then I realised I'm sitting in a chair. That'd have been really yeah. Difficult. And I think I think Ash would have gone a bit mad. Yeah, he's he's not happy already. So these are the quotes. Now, Joel might have said, you start new and last season doesn't matter. You only have to take the things, learn things from last year. We all start from new. We've got a lot of good players. I try to play as much as possible, but we will see. Now. I like that. It's kind of like the balance between, I back myself, I know I'm a good player, but I know there's lots of good players here. Competition is good. And also, the fact is, and this is a message that seems to be running throughout the squad, is that last season, it's 
gone. And we start again. And I like that. Yeah, I like it too. And and just further to the quote before you threw it away. Yeah. Uh, now, he, he just goes on to say about he knows that there'll be injuries and rotation. And I think at this level, for what Liverpool is trying to achieve, um, you need to be prepared to not play every game. Mm -hmm. I think um, there's... there's I, I keep saying that Liverpool don't have a starting eleven. I don't think any of the top clubs necessarily have a, an, an eleven anymore. I think we did sort of last season, but I think mm -hmm. that's because we we didn't have the depth or we had injuries and and, and whatnot. Whereas I think we go in to this season uh, coming a lot stronger with a lot more depth. And Joel Massif will understand that. Like he he would have seen if if he references last season. I know he's saying it's gone, and I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about what Klopp's done at the start of the season mm -hmm. with Joe Gomez. It was straight away. Virgil van Dijk, Joe Gomez, Trent. But you see him within a couple of games, and it, it was it was quite early on. Joe Gomez on the right, Lovren him. And that's because what is demanded of Trent and Robertson, the demand is so high. Yeah, they they high. can tire really quickly, uh, and that's not doing them down. It, it, the, the best fullbacks in the world for, for what they do and how they play in that position. So, Especially that early in the season. Exactly, th exactly. That's my point. So hopefully he's looking at that going, well, it doesn't look like he's going to bring in another right back. If Klein stays, will he become cover? I actually don't think he will. I still yeah. think Joe Gomez will be the right back cover because I was saying that Klein was near, but we've seen him come on at like Porto away, didn't we, and fill in at, at right back. And um, If I was massive, I'd be going, well, you know those games when Joe Gomez is out on the right, I can be the Dejan Lovren, and I think he will be. But he might well be the Joe Gomez. We don't know. He might well be because I... I I would. I'm putting it here now. Like I, I love Joe Gomez, but I'd, I'd start with Massa because I think coming off the back at the end of last mm. season, it, I think he was, he was, he was great. I think the fact that it's up for grabs, the fact that the two of them in particular, Gomez and Matip, are the characters that they are, that they will take on the challenge. They won't get too disheartened if they don't win straight away. Because, like you say, there's always going to be opportunities later on in the season to get back into the squad. And with the added potential for rotation with Gomez playing right back. I think you're right. I think the idea of having the settled 11 at the beginning of the season, it's just a myth. It's almost, there's always something new to add to the team. There's always a new evolution. Mm. And <clears throat> I'm particularly intrigued to see what happens at fullback because I feel like the opposition managers are going to be looking to clamp down on those and Klopp going to know that and he's going to have something else for them mm. and I can't wait to see what that's going to be. I don't know what it'll be. I think I don't think we'll see cover brought in but I actually do think the keen to get rid of Klein. Mm. I don't think Klein can do that job. I, must, I, I really don't. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes somewhere. Well, <laughs> sorry Nathaniel. <laughs> we, we did enjoy your time here though, honestly. Um, now, obviously, there's some shows coming out because we always have shows coming out because that's what we do. Uh, you should be able to see them sprinkling <laughs> across the screen now. This is the time to put them in, Ash. This is my little reminder. <laughs> um, and obviously, as I mentioned at the top of the show, Anfield Rap are in America. And when they're on tour, that means there's going to be live shows. Yes. You can still get tickets to those live shows. The website available for them is... Ah, uh, I knew you were going to say that to me. www.theanfieldraft.com forward slash tour live, as in T-A-W live. So they're in Chicago um, tomorrow. And I think that's American tomorrow, yes. not like our tomorrow, <laughs> uh, if that makes any sense at all. And then they're in New York on Monday. Uh, there's still tickets left. Go to the website. It's a great laugh. Um, you'll have a ball if you're over there. Really, really, it's, it's, it's a great time. It is a great time. And you're right, I was definitely going to do that too. Because <laughs> you're very good with the, the, the minutiae of memory. And I'm, I, I do the big picture and you do the details. I'm fine with that now. We've also got the embodiment of LFC award, which is still running, and I know it's generated a lot of debate amongst you guys because, as you mentioned last time, there is really anybody it could be. If you want to find out more about that, that's also on our website. Theanfieldraft.com forward slash awards. I, I did actually try to remember <laughs> that one because it's really easy. You think I'd be able to remember, but no, it's always good having Lizzie Dole next to you. That's a, that's a lesson for life. Take that with you, kids. See you later. Thank you.